Their cat did not like their baby at all, but one night it climbed into the baby's crib. When the parents found out what the cat did, they were greatly shocked. Sonny, an eight-year-old ginger tabby, found his world turned upside down when his owners, Shannon Richardson, and her husband brought home an unexpected surprise. After rushing away in the middle of the night, the couple returned a few days later, toting a small black carrier. Baby Hazel had been born a few days prior, and like all new parents, Shannon and her husband were ecstatic at adding a new member to the family. In addition to this, the happy couple could not wait to introduce Hazel to her older, four-legged sibling. As soon as Shannon, her husband, and baby Hazel entered the house, Sonny ran to greet them. He had missed his owners and, after having been left with a pet sitter, was excited to receive some much-needed attention. Sonny's excitement faded, however, when upon reaching his owners, he was patted on the head once as Shannon's husband lowered the carrier down to rest on the floor. Sonny, who was not used to random objects being brought into his home, sniffed it curiously, meowing in concern as the unfamiliar scent filled his nose. Shannon smiled happily, glowing in her post-birth state as her husband pulled back the blanket, allowing Sonny to get his first glimpse of the newest member of the family. Baby Hazel stirred at the sudden intrusion of light, whimpering softly. Sonny, who had yet to see such a small baby up close, moved closer. Shannon and her husband waited eagerly, excited to see how Sonny would react. But to their disappointment, the cat was quite uninterested. Sonny just let out a soft sound, sniffed the baby, and then walked away and went to eat his dinner. The happy couple's excitement evaporated, and they watched as Hazel let out a soft cry looking in Sonny's direction. Sonny, however, continued to ignore her, and the Richardsons took their baby upstairs, hoping that this behavior would be a one-time occurrence. That night, when the Richardsons had tucked baby Hazel into bed, they headed to their room, confused and upset. Sonny, who was normally a very loving and affectionate cat, had avoided the family all day, especially Hazel's room. The Richardsons had hoped that the tabby would come around after a while. However, when they retired to bed, Sonny didn't join them. This was highly unusual for the cat, and Shannon began to worry. She had read articles before Hazel's birth that some cats could have trouble adjusting to new children in the home. Some articles even claimed that the cats would harm the baby. Shannon didn't want to believe Sonny could do such a thing and vowed to wait and see if he would eventually warm up to Hazel. Over the next few days, the Richardsons kept a close eye on Sonny as well as Hazel, taking every opportunity they could to encourage the two to play together. Shannon had purchased a bouncer for her baby and placed Hazel inside securing the straps before placing the baby bouncer on the floor a few feet away from the sofa. Sonny would often lay in the exact spot due to the sunlight which would filter through the window. Shannon hoped that seeing the baby resting in his favorite spot would entice Sonny to come over. Hazel was resting peacefully, babbling softly as Shannon picked up her favorite book, settling in to read a chapter while waiting for Sonny to enter the room. Forty-five minutes later, there was no sign of Sonny, and just as Shannon was about to give up, a bright orange streak of fur could be seen entering the room. Sonny, who had not been seen the previous night, ran into the living room through the kitchen, purring softly as he headed for the sofa. It seemed he was back to his normal, loving self, and Shannon smiled as Sonny rubbed against her legs, purring softly when she scratched his ears. The orange tabby continued to play with his owner for a few moments, patting her hand playfully until Hazel let out a small coo. Shannon sat up, reaching for her baby as Sonny sat up meowing when he caught sight of Hazel's bouncer sitting in his favorite spot in the house. The cat took a few steps in the direction of Hazel, making the little girl kick her legs as she saw its head appear near her own. Shannon waited with bated breath, hoping that the tabby would finally interact with Hazel. She had seen videos of cats curling up inside the bouncer with the baby, and hoped that Sonny might do this as well. Hazel continued making soft, babbling sounds, all while Sonny stared around the corner of the bouncer. Everything was still as Shannon waited in hopeful anticipation. Sonny took a few steps closer to the baby, looking as if he might touch her hand with his head. Cats often headbutt as a sign of affection, and Shannon was thrilled with this development. Her joy faded, however, when Hazel let out a small cry, sending Sonny running out of the living room and back into the kitchen after letting out a soft hiss. 
Shannon watched him go before moving to pick Hazel up, pulling the little girl into her chest and rocking her gently. Sonny had never liked loud noises, and while his reaction to Hazel's cries was understandable, it was also disappointing for Shannon. She had hoped that this could be a turning point for Sonny and Hazel's relationship, but her hopes faded when she didn't see the cat anywhere on her way to Hazel's room. It seemed the cat had made himself scarce, and all Shannon could do was hope that another opportunity to bring the pair together would present itself. Shannon's wish was granted later that night, when, after putting Hazel to bed for the night, she heard the sound of footsteps and turned to see Sonny pounce into the rocking chair she and her husband had placed in Hazel's room. It was the first time the cat had entered the room since Hazel was brought home. Shannon turned to crouch on the floor, clicking her tongue against the roof of her mouth softly to lure him closer to the crib. Sonny perched on the chair, yellow eyes watching Shannon's movements. The cat remained still at first, tail flickering softly as the soft clicking noise drifted across the room. Shannon continued her attempt to call Sonny over and was rewarded when the cat stood up on the chair stretching himself out before padding over to headbutt her palm. This was a good sign and Shannon continued to click her tongue at Sonny, scratching the cat behind his ears as he purred. This was the most contact Sonny had allowed Shannon to have since Hazel's arrival, something that Shannon had been longing for. The tabby used to follow her everywhere and she had missed the closeness they had shared over the last few days. Sonny seemed to miss the contact as well, and when he didn't move away after a few more minutes of petting, Shannon scooped him up off the floor. The orange tabby cuddled into Shannon's chest, and the woman held him the same way she would Hazel as she turned to face the baby's crib. One of Shannon's friends that she had confided in about Sonny's lack of affection towards Hazel had suggested that introducing the pair while Hazel was asleep could help. Hazel would be less likely to make any sound that might frighten Sonny into running away. Shannon waited until the cat settled inside her arms, cuddling the cat affectionately before lowering him towards the crib. At first, Sonny remained still and quiet, ears and tail flickering as Shannon moved him closer to Hazel. Sonny's tail dangled over Shannon's arms, and Hazel whined softly as the soft fur brushed over her cheek. The cat shifted in Shannon's grasp, but the woman held on, making the soft clicking sound to soothe him as Hazel settled down. As soon as Hazel was quiet again, Shannon moved quickly. Sonny was lowered into the crib alongside Hazel, coming to rest just a few inches away from the little girl as she continued to sleep soundly. Shannon waited anxiously to see what her cat would do. Nothing happened at first. He simply watched from his place inside the crib as Hazel moved in her sleep. Her tiny feet kicked in the cat's direction, and his eyes widened as they passed by his front paws. The move seemed to drive Sonny into action, and the cat stood up inside the crib, giving Hazel's blanket-covered legs a light swat before beginning to climb up the bars. Some articles even claimed that the cats would sometimes lie atop the baby as they slept, smothering them in their sleep. Sonny had never shown any signs of aggression before. The Richardson family had adopted Sonny when he was just three years old, and he had settled into their home just fine. In fact, the cat had found the family he always wanted. For five years, Sonny found himself living in a home filled with love and happiness. Throughout this entire period, he had remained the sweetest and most loyal cat any pet owner could hope for, up until this moment. Shannon found his unusual behavior quite concerning. She truly hoped the articles were wrong, particularly when it came to Sonny. They had also mentioned that in certain situations, introducing a new baby could significantly disturb a cat's routine, leading them to become fearful or even resentful towards the newest member of the family. It took a while for Shannon to settle Hazel down again, and once the baby was finally asleep, Shannon had decided to spend the night in her daughter's room. She did not believe Sonny would hurt her baby, but then again, Sonny had not been acting like himself lately either. Shannon wasn't willing to take any chances, and she made herself comfortable in the rocking chair, eyes trained on the door as her tiny daughter drifted back to sleep. The next day, Shannon brought her concerns to her husband, telling him about the articles she had read as well as Sonny's behavior the previous night. Shannon's husband reassured her that their cat would never harm Hazel. He said that Sonny had never shown aggressive behavior, and the SWAT could have been a natural reaction to Hazel's sudden movements, since cats are natural-born predators. Shannon was reluctant to agree, 
While she loved Sonny, she was also concerned for Hazel's well-being. Due to his wife's concern, Shannon's husband agreed to a compromise to put the woman's mind at ease. He agreed that they would need a way to check on Hazel when she was alone in her room at night, not just because of Sonny, but for other safety reasons as well. Shannon's husband said he would stop by the store on the way home from work and pick up a new baby monitor, one with a built-in camera for the baby's crib. The new plan comforted Shannon, and she kissed her husband goodbye before heading upstairs to her baby. She made a point to look for Sonny as she walked, but the orange tabby was nowhere to be seen. Shannon had made sure to close the door to Hazel's room before leaving. There was no way Sonny could get into Hazel's room, and yet, for some reason, Shannon still found herself worrying. The cat's behavior had changed so drastically since Hazel was born, and even though she loved the orange tabby, she had her little girl to protect. Shannon and Hazel spent the day together, her mother unwilling to put her down as she went about her work. Sonny was nowhere to be seen, and as her husband returned home, Shannon asked him if he thought the cat could have run away. Some of the articles, while mentioning that the cat might try to harm the baby, also mentioned that they could potentially run away due to lack of attention. When Shannon confessed that she hadn't seen Sonny since the previous night, her husband agreed to search for the cat after putting the cameras in place. As soon as the installation was finished, Shannon headed to their bedroom to lie down. She hadn't gotten much sleep the night before, and fell asleep almost as soon as her head hit the pillow. Meanwhile, Shannon's husband began his search for the missing cat. In the years that Sonny had been with them, he had picked up quite a few hiding places, and Shannon's husband walked from room to room, checking each in turn. It took a little over an hour to search all of Sonny's favorite hiding places. Unfortunately, the orange tabby still could not be found. Shannon's husband wondered if perhaps Sonny had run away after all. The man had grown fond of the cat, and the idea that he might not see him again was saddening. Shannon's husband vowed to look for Sonny again in the morning and stopped by Hazel's room on his way to bed. The little girl's door was closed, and Shannon's husband opened it just to crack, peering in to check that Hazel was doing okay. Hazel was sound asleep in her crib, soft sounds echoing through the room as she slept. Shannon's husband took a quick look around the room for Sonny, making sure the cat hadn't slipped inside after Shannon went to sleep. Sonny was nowhere to be found, and after kissing Hazel on top of the head, Shannon's husband headed across the hall to join his wife in bed. For a few hours, everything was quiet. It wasn't until 3 a.m. that Shannon and her husband were awoken by sounds coming from Hazel's baby monitor. Thinking that the little girl had woken up hungry, Shannon turned to face the monitor, rubbing the sleep from her eyes as she focused on the screen. The sight on the monitor was enough to make Shannon's heart skip a beat, and she leaped from her bed calling for her husband as she raced across the hall. As soon as Shannon opened the door to Hazel's room, Sonny, who hadn't been seen all night, let out a yowling sound. As Shannon's husband followed her into the room, they both peered into their daughter's crib, only to be utterly shocked by what they saw. The cat had climbed into the baby's crib during the night and was now curled up against Hazel's side, nuzzling the little girl's back as she continued to cry. Both of her parents had forgotten to remove one of the larger blankets from Hazel's crib before putting her down and, in her sleep, the blanket had managed to become tangled around Hazel's body. The little girl's limbs were pinned in such a way that it would have been truly painful, even dangerous, and it was only the sounds of Sonny's yowls that had alerted Shannon and her husband. The pair were quick to untangle baby Hazel from the blanket. Shannon cuddled her daughter close as her husband patted Sonny on the head, praising the cat for waking them up. Had it not been for Sonny, there was no telling how badly Hazel could have been hurt. Shannon instantly felt guilty for her suspicions towards the cat. The ginger tabby had merely been having a hard time adjusting to the new member of the family, and Shannon had interpreted that to mean Hazel might be in danger. Fortunately for Shannon and her husband, their loyal pet had jumped in to help when disaster struck. Despite all of his misgivings about Hazel, Sonny had protected the newest member of his family. The couple spent the rest of the night in Hazel's room, watching in awe as Sonny crawled back into the baby's crib. The orange tabby lay close by until Hazel fell asleep before moving to curl up against the little girl's side. 
In just one night, Sonny had officially become Hazel's protector. Seeing the newest member of his family in danger had been enough to bring out Sonny's instincts to protect his family. The next day after her husband had gone to work, Shannon was pleased to see that Sonny continued this new pattern of behavior. The orange tabby stayed close to baby Hazel all day, joining the little girl on the sofa and even lying under her bounce chair. Sonny, who now loves sleeping in the same crib as baby Hazel, has also taken to comforting the girl when she cries. Since that night, the cat would leap into the baby's crib whenever she cried, gently nuzzling against her. Hazel, who had not exactly gotten the hang of petting yet, would grab him and he would just stay there like a good boy. There truly is no greater love than that of a pet for its family, and Shannon and her husband could not be more thrilled with the connection Sonny and Hazel have developed. Even though the pair might have gotten off to a rocky start, the two have come a long way. Shannon and her husband are hopeful that the pair's friendship will continue to grow and look forward to seeing the pair spend Hazel's childhood together. What did you think of Hazel and Sonny's story? Do you believe that children and pets form a special bond just like that of human siblings? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Join us for another incredible video in the next one.